Hello YouTube users, this is a video tutorial showing how to remove the recycler virus and uh, this virus is it's, it's going around a lot lately it, it gets on your computer and it'll lock you out of your hard drive and uh, on Vista it'll pop up a little message every other time you log on saying um, you know restore this file and it'll be you know it'll be s dash something 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 this recycler file um, also if you put a thumb drive in your computer that you got it on it'll spread to every other computer that it gets on and uh, you know and all that kind of stuff it's a, it's a spread virus now it's not you know it's just an aggravation it's a real big aggravation I mean you know it's not something that is just the vi it's not the virus of viruses or nothing but um you know there is a way to remove it and so I put a link in the description of this video and you'll click on it um, I haven't uploaded the video yet so the link's not there yet I'm just gonna I've copied it and pasted it but when you click on the link in the description of the video it's gonna take you to right here and it's gonna give you a download prompt just click on save and save it to your desktop um, one second I normally just click this button right here and I, and I hit save I've already got it on my desktop, so I'm not going to save it, but it's a zip file. Alright, once it's on the desktop, right click on it and hit extract all. Go through the extraction process and show the files. There's the folder it put on the desktop. Okay, now for Vista users, um, the first step is... Uh, you know is 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 right in here you click on this first now what this is is that's a command to delete a certain key in your registry you gotta select it all and copy it go to your start menu down here and select run and paste it in there just like that now I'm not gonna hit OK because this computer don't have the virus on it but um, on Vista the run command does not come in the start menu from the factory that I've seen so what you gotta do is you gotta right click on it on the start menu select properties and this is on Vista now and and select the start menu tab and select customize scroll down in that little area till you see run command it'll have a little square box put a check in it then your run command are to be in the start menu now I put those directions right here Vista users it tells you exactly what I just told you and it basically if you have to go over it again go there alright so after you copy and paste what's in this first document into the run command and you hit OK you've done the first part uh, next you want to double click on cl clean it now I'm not going to double click on it because I don't need to but this is what it looks like in here you know it, it's it's commands telling it to remove um, uh, you know to remove the registry you know keys involved in this uh, recycler bin uh, there it is recycler thing right there but you double click and it just automatically executes now this is the download link for combo fix right here you just copy and paste that that link right there copy and paste it into the internet browser Firefox or whatever you use and um, when you do that and you hit enter it's going to give you a download prompt alright save this to your desktop there again I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and do this one so you can see but just save it to your desktop you know take it a second to get on there my internet connection is not the fastest in the world now in this one right in this download link description I put for more instructions on combo fix read this page you can go there and it'll tell you things about you know combo fix how to use it and stuff about disabling your firewalls if you have to or and all that I don't never do any of that I don't I don't use stopzilla it's nothing but crap they're trying to sell you and uh, I just download combo fix and uh, I do what I'm fixing to show you you know to do to get rid of this virus this recycler virus now, um, after you do this, you can still use your computer. The virus is gone. It's not going to spread anymore. But you need to do this on every computer that you need to do this on every computer that 
the virus is on and you need to have your thumb drive plugged into every computer because your thumb drive's got the virus on it now or whatever you know it, it used to transport so on every computer that this virus has gotten on you've got to do this on there and you got to have the thumb drive plugged in so it can remove it all there's combo fix once you once you've done the first step once you clicked on the clean it um, the next step is to drag this FC script file into the combo file and let it let it go I'm not gonna let it go but when you do it it activates this thing now what this FCF script says is, is to kill all the recycler on every drive blam 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 and all that stuff and there it is the recycler s1 blah 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 this and that alright now that's what that'll do and uh, to tell you the truth I normally do this twice I like to do it in safe mode and if you don't know how to do you know get in safe mode you just restart your computer and hit F8 hit the F8 key until you get the safe mode prompt select safe mode okay um, yeah, but you need to do this on every computer that, that, that's infected with the uh, with the virus. Now, if you reformat your computers before you do this, it's not going to take away the recycler virus. It'll be right back there once you've redone, redone your computer. But now, if you do this right here, I always reformat my computer because um, I like to use the auto run, uh, which is this right here. When you plug a thumb drive or something into your computer, this is the auto run that, that's supposed to pop up right right here I like that because I don't have to go to the start menu when you use combo fix and and get the recycler you're not gonna have that anymore you're gonna have to go into your start menu click here and you're gonna have to click right you know once it finds it you're gonna have to click on on the CD or thumb drive or whatever it is um, so I would recommend redoing every computer that the virus was on, reformatting it, and reinstalling your system. But you got to do this first. Make sure the thumb drive's plugged in, and uh, that should do it. But um, you know, um, if you need any further explanations on it, just email me or get, send me a message on YouTube, and I'll, I'll try to respond to you or whatever. And uh, this works, man. I, I hope it helps. I had a lot of trouble with that virus you know at the first and it just aggravated me so much I was like man I'm gonna destroy this thing you know and I hate it but uh, it's just an aggravation you know somebody had nothing better to do and they didn't make anything that really profited anything so you know all it's done is probably caused people to take their computers to these computer factories and have to you know pay a fortune to get it redone so he's just made everybody else some money I don't know what kind of money he's made off of it I doubt anything but, um, you know, if you're going to be a hacker and make a virus, man, crash some of these Ku Klux Klan sites and Nazi skinhead sites and racism sites, man. Destroy them. You know, leave innocent people alone. But anyway, that ought to, uh, that ought to take care of it. So just click on the link in the description, do the combo fix, extract it right there, you know, and, and Vista users, go here and put the run command on your start menu, which is this right here. That's the first step, then download combo fix right there. Um, click on that and drag that over into combo fix and it'll do, you know, it'll run itself. I hope this has helped. Uh, thank you for watching.